Hi guys, so today I want to take you through how to use CCleaner, which is a Windows uh, optimization and cleaning tool. Uh, now I've been using CCleaner on my client computers for about five years and I find it's uh, indispensable. I've, I must have it to, uh, in order to, to finish the, uh, the jobs that I do. Um, now I'll take you through just the first two options there. So we'll skip on tools and other options because um, th these are the main reasons you'll be using it for the cleaner and the registry editor or the registry cleaner. So we'll make sure the cleaner tab is uh, selected and you can pretty much leave everything at default. Um, I'll just take you through two, two here, two selections. Uh, history, you may or may not want to uh, clear that out and recently typed URLs Okay, so if you're the sort of browser that um, you, you click in and type into the, the address bar and then click on a link um, to visit a website, then you may want to uncheck that. All right, but other than that, leave it checked. The ones you probably don't want to, uh, to have checked are the autocomplete and saved passwords uh, because you don't really want those cleared out every time you run this. You'll be running it probably once a week. Um, unless you're selling your computer or you you changed all your passwords and you want a fresh start. Okay, so leave those unchecked. Uh, everything else leave as it is in default settings. Uh, there are two in advanced settings that I would recommend you check and that is old prefetch data. Okay, prefetch is um, uh, sort of as it sounds, it, it prefetches uh, program data so that it's uh, easy to to load up, but the prefetch folder gets uh, very big very quick, so you want to clear that out every now and then. Um, and the ISS log files, uh, there's not much really happening there, but um, it's a good idea to keep them clean. Um, okay, so the, the other one is the Applications tab up at the top there. Uh, now if you have a different browser like Firefox, that, that'll be in here. And again, you may uh, want to uncheck Internet History. Um, everything else I would leave at defaults. Uh, you also have your other applications. So if you've got Microsoft Office, um, you can uh, uh, check or uncheck anything that's selected there. Now there is one that you could possibly check and that is the Java there. Um, Unless you're using a lot of Java applets, uh, it's not really a good idea to have those hanging around on your computer. So, um, so I'd probably suggest you do check the Java there. Okay. Uh, once you've made your selections, bottom right-hand corner, you'll see a Run C Cleaner uh, button or Run Cleaner. So we click that. Now a, a warning will come up uh, explaining what uh, what it's about to do. Just click OK to that and that will go ahead and uh, clean those files off your computer. Now I've only got 1.32 uh, megabyte removed. Um, I've had client computers, I think the record uh, is around about 8 gigabyte of temporary files removed from their, their hard drive so you can imagine what that was doing um, and how slow that computer was running because of it. So um, and removing 8 gigabyte or even less than that can take a lot longer than four seconds all right, which is what mine took there so you're going you're to have to allow up to 10 minutes for that for this green bar to reach 100 percent okay once it has then you click on the registry icon there and you leave everything there checked by default okay um, and you click the scan for issues button down there okay now that will scan for any obsolete registry keys and put them up there for uh, deletion. Now uh, bottom right hand corner you'll see fix, select, fix selected issues, click that and it'll give you an option there do you want to back up changes to the registry and you, uh, I would suggest you click yes to that okay and it'll save it under your documents library and it will give it uh, a date name so 2014-1205 and it even gives the time there as well okay so click save to that and then the the option will come up to fix all selected selected issues so we click that and then click close 
Okay, so those two options there are, are by far the majority of uh, what we're going to be concerned about with um, CCleaner. There are other tools there. There's an uninstall tool. There's uh, a startup tool, which is very handy. Uh, now, I've only got a few minor things there. Yours could be full of all these startup programs. Now, unless you know what you're doing, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't mess around too much with that. Uh, that's pretty advanced sort of thing, so um, leave that. Uh, Duplicate Finder, System Restore, and Drive Wiper. And then there's the options there which you can go through. Um, there's a few options there you may want to, to uh, check. Um, other than that, just leave it at defaults and it's all good. So there it is, CCleaner, uh, the Windows Optimization Tool. I uh, hope this has been helpful to you and uh, any questions or comments leave them down below and I'll catch you next time. Cheers guys.